Hi, Mike Kennedy with you. We're doing an MRE from the Dollar Tree, constructed ourselves. So, we've got two of these. Uh, these are chicken salad crackers. They usually have these in several flavors, but they only had this. So we're including two of these. And in two of these, we're getting uh, 380 calories, 16 grams of protein, 570 milligrams of salt. We're including, we split a third of a pack of the strawberry pop tarts. So we're getting 400 calories, 4 grams protein, 150 milligrams salt. And then for a drink, we're including two Yahoo's. <laughs> Yahoo's are kind of a, I don't know, uh, reconstituted milk product, not really milk, but. Uh, this has, uh, we're going to be getting 200 calories from two of these, 2 grams of protein, 150 milligrams of salt. So, as you can see, this isn't too big. And so this gets us near a goal of trying to get around 1,000 calories. So that's 980 calories, two, any 2 grams of protein, and 870 milligrams of salt. So there's our first choice. So the first choice cost one, two, uh, cost about three dollars because these are split. There were three of these in a pack, so that's 70 cents. There were four of the three of these in a pack, so that's about 30 cents. So yeah, we get just about uh, more like 30. Yeah, it's about three dollars. So that brings us in at a good price and uh, a good amount of protein and calories. So there's our first choice. So here's our second one. We've got a can of bacon flavored luncheon meat. That's going to be contributing, uh, let's see, 420 calories, 24 grams of protein, 2,135 milligrams of salt. We're going to have two packets of crackers. We could even go with peanut butter or uh, chive cheese, chive cream cheese. That's going to be adding uh, about, that's going to add 260 calories, four of protein, 260 of salt. We're going to go with our same dessert item, the uh, uh, strawberry pop tarts, 400 calories, 4 grams protein, and 300 milligrams salt. And then we're doing the same drink. They didn't have much for small drinks right there at the time, but this is going to be giving us uh, 200 calories of uh, Two grams of protein and uh, what have we got for salt? 300 for salt. So, all together, can we hold it in one hand? That's what this game is. There. So our total on that is going to be, it's going to get us up to 180 calories, 32 grams of protein, 2,695 milligrams of salt. And usually here, the part of the aim of this is to get the calories and the proteins up there. We're not so worried about salt. If you're really active, then uh, you're going to need that salt. It's going to go out and sweat and different things like that. So there's our second choice. Now, I kind of went off the reservation, now we're at a different store. Spam is about $3 a can, okay? And uh, six servings uh, in a can. And we've got something similar here, treat. This is uh, the same weight, and uh, this was like, I think, only $1.50. Let's check that out so I don't make a mistake. Uh, Yes, 
a dollar fifty so it's half the price of this and it does have slightly less protein but let's look at it they're they're talking about uh, two ounce servings so with the spam we have uh, seven grams with the treat we have five grams of protein the salt is the same around 800 uh, the calories are uh, higher in the spam is 180 and in the treat is 140 so you're getting slightly less in this as far as food value for uh, calories and fat and but it's half the price and we looked at that as opposed to the, this luncheon meat too this these were from uh, big lots this is from the Dollar Tree so here we get seven ounces so two of these would cost more than one of these and you would be getting uh, let's see the total in this for the protein uh, would be 24 oh no wait a second two ounce serving no sorry seven grams so it would be slightly more than this so, but this would be a a better deal just food calorie wise food protein calorie wise volume and weight than the uh, the smaller can at the Dollar Tree since this is dollar fifty and this is a dollar now some places you can get spam in single servings and envelopes but I couldn't find any and uh, I think it was Dollar General I was in once and they had tons of different flavors usually you just see the one but they actually have tons of flavor but here's this was from big lots this is a dollar fifty i believe yeah no uh a dollar twenty five only okay so here you have a lot of protein and very little calories uh so here we've got uh servings as one pouch we've got uh 80 calories three seven three hundred and seventy of sodium and protein we have 17 grams in this one little pack so uh, as far as doing uh, having a lower calorie option this is the way to go and they have these in different flavors they say in the back they have 20 different varieties this is lemon pepper but uh, wild caught tuna lightly seasoned premium tuna so I mean you could put this on crackers if you had some crackers with you in the in your thing or you could just eat this directly out of the envelope and you're certainly going to get a good amount of protein from it uh, you know this is probably uh, if you're just interested in uh, adding protein this would be the best one of the best options here's our last little option I mean these are better because these are actual sizes that you would eat at one setting I mean uh, you certainly could eat a whole can and of, of spam or treat uh, but these are smaller uh, so here with this one we've got potted meat America's favorite I couldn't find deviled ham but I wonder if this is kind of what used to be called deviled ham made with chicken pork added so here we've got 425 calories this is eating the whole can which is two and a half servings we get 20 grams of protein and 590 grams milligrams of salt so you can see that's quite a small option that could have been be compared combined with some other things to make your little ready to eat meal so these are all things that you could just eat out of the containers uh, you could have an option with these you could include some crackers or something to uh, put it on but you definitely could eat it that way same goes with the the treat or the spam uh, I haven't found this exactly saying this but to some degree it seems like these this was sort of developed for the military or similar to something that was made for the military for the original uh, uh, K ration type thing you've got something that's that's compact has long shelf life I read that basically canned meat if it's still good and usually you can tell by inspecting the can it's not about bowed out or anything is 
good two to five years past its expert its best use by date so this is this is 20 now this is 22 so this potentially would have a seven year life and here this can of treat is uh, the date on this is uh, 21 so again you would have potentially uh, uh, three to whatever years depending on whether you're going to do the two to five years but uh, again eating this whole thing uh, these are considerably better usually when they're fried if you have the option but right now we're just talking about things that you can eat the way they are these come with a way to open them you don't need a can opener obviously you're probably going to want a spoon or something like that a fork or utensil for them so tell me what you think of those these options and we're going to be doing some taste testing as well bye